Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some satyrs and got some blood amber in Felwood. And today, we are going to be heading over to Iron Tree Woods. And we will be using this flute that we got from Zaverick, which summons ancient spirits in Iron Tree Woods. Let's see how this goes. I think this is a pretty big drop down. Too sure if we would survive. Can I use it here? I don't think I can. Acquires the ruins of Iron Tree Woods. Okay. So we need to find out where the ruins are. Assume they're down, down in here. I think they may be where all the toxic ores are. I wonder if this place counts. Let's see. Go where all these ancients are. There's a ruins over there, so it's probably over there. But we'll give this a try. No. Alright, so let's sneak out of here. We are running low on our elixirs. Which makes me wonder. We're gonna have enough to do the quest for enough time. Should, I don't know, seven minutes? Could be close. Alright, so this looks like a ruins to me. Let's use this, uh. Okay, there we go. Looks like you had to be in a specific spot. Rent spirit. And there he is, Arai. The corruption of Felwood has trapped my spirit here. I may never rest. Ancient spirit. Felwood was once a peaceful and serene land until the Legion took hold. The infernals, destruction, and chaos. The skull of Gul'dan ensued. Ensured that none were spared here, all fell to the corruption. Even now, as a spirit, I still find myself trapped, bearing the suffering of this land. Help me find my way home, please, 007. Tell me you will lead an ancient spirit away from here, where I may finally rest. Once I am free, seek out Caneth Stillwind, a druid that resides in Forest Song to the east. Okay, so that's over here. All right, so here we go. We got five minutes on our stuff. I guess I'll have a bite of uh, spider sausage. We'll see what happens. I think Arai will uh, tank for us. Let him pull everything. Looks like he's just walking by a lot of stuff. Okay. Gotta fight this stomper. A little bit of damage there. Not too much. Seems like our poisons aren't working on these iron tree stompers. There we go. Right, we'll have some banana. Keep on going.
Oh man, are we gonna pull all of these toxic ores? That would really suck. This toxic ore has been driven mad from the corruption. Poison me! Oh, poison me. Kinda sucks. Now we can't really stay stealthed for the next two minutes. I hate these things. Pretty much don't like anything that puts like dots on me. So then I can't stealth. Three minutes on our elixirs. Should be somewhat okay. The corruption of the fell has not left any of the creatures of Fellwood untouched. Great, we got two now. Three here. This is brutal. Why would you go in here? I don't even know what's going on. Is he dying to those or not? Taking some serious damage. I guess we'll have to use Blade Flurry. Which kinda sucks. Hope he doesn't die. I hope we don't die either. Probably shouldn't have used Blade Flurry. One more. This guy's like almost dead, which is good. We're almost dead too, though. We have a bite to eat with this uh, five stacks of poison we have on us. I'm trying to stealth. That won't do much. Hopefully, he's getting health back. This poison's brutal. Alright, he's fighting again. He's full health, so he should be okay. Can't really fight with these five stiff. Well, we can. Come on, get full health. Good thing is, this guy can. He can tank pretty damn well. He can kill this thing solo. Try to sneak by. Without pulling any of this stuff. Yeah, that was a brutal pull. We only have a couple seconds on our elixirs. I'm going to start making some. I'm make an agi here. And I'll just start reapplying them. I think uh, he can tank for now. While we reapply all these elixirs. Okay, and then we need fortitude. I think he's okay. I got two minutes on our other stuff. There's another trend. It's coming up towards us. Hopefully, uh... This creature suffers from the effects of the fell. Hopefully we can pull him off of him. Yeah, okay, good. Two minutes on our poisons. Should probably make... Make another one. Yeah, we'll make another one. Make an instant poison.
All right, so let's apply these poisons while he's walking. Could have just done all this before we pulled, but I'm surprised we didn't pull any of that. It's kind of strange how they did not pull. Last thing we want to do is pull them when we use sprint. Nine minutes on our food buff. Should be more than enough time. I have a feeling this escort should be close to finished. Kind of cool how you can just like walk by some of them. And this has been a pretty easy escort so far. I think fighting those toxic ores was probably the worst part. Got five stacks of poison on us. All right, so here he is. Help me. Okay, so he's got three of them on him. It's probably the end here. So leave these guys down. That I must fight against my own kind deeply saddens me. I can sense it now, 007. Ashervale lies down this path. I feel something strange. Oh, look, he's back to life. 007, my form has now changed. The true strength of my spirit is returning to me now. The cursed grasp of this forest is leaving me. Thank you, 007. My spirit will finally be at peace. Alright. Is that it? Can we talk to him? Feels free. Is that it? Okay. Oh yeah, we have to go... Turn that in later. But that was a good little escort there. We have to go here to turn it in. Eventually we'll, we're going to be heading up this way anyways. Headed to uh, Winter Spring. So we'll turn that in later. We're going to go south now. And we will uh, go to Jadenar. This is going to be the final quest that we need to do in Felwood. And we need to slay Rakaia. And retrieve the remains of Trey at Lightforge. So we're going to be heading into Shadowhold. And we'll see what happens. It's going to be a tough one. She's surrounded. I don't know if you guys remember, but she's surrounded by, like, mobs. But I think we'll be alright. We're gonna get a lot of XP from turning in all these quests. I think right now we have... One, two, three, four, and then another one in Winter Spring. So five complete so far. Which should net us at least five, probably more bars than that, but maybe even seven. And then after this quest, that'll be another, like, eight bars. Pretty much going to be halfway 
to 59 after we turn all these in. But we have to survive first. Gotta survive against Rakaia. We're gonna sneak all the way there. That wasn't too bad of a, an escort. There's a lot worse ones. I think those ones with those little robots, those homing robots, those ones are the worst. Because the homing robots, it sucks. Like, he can't, he can't really fight. Like, that, that tr big Trent, like, he could... He could fight. Or that ancient spear, whatever you want to call him. He was able to hold his ground. Yeah, this may be our last quest in Felwood unless we get some more after turning these all in. See what happens. I don't know if this was a good idea. We're not going to be able to vanish. We will. But do I want to vanish? It's another question. Can we stealth? Are they still chasing us? They're still chasing us. Okay, whatever. See ya. <laughs> there we go, we're done. Alright, we're inside. We'll have to wait for Vanish to come back. I think it's going to take us at least five minutes to get to where we want to be. So we should be okay. And we only have five more Vanishes left. I think as we can make... Can we make more Flash Powder? No, that's the... Can make blinding powder, not flash. So eventually, we'll have to go back and purchase some more. This would be such a long quest if I had to fight my way in. You'd have to fight your way out too. Unless you had a hearthstone. These uses are probably pretty annoying as well. Alright, so what do we got on our vanish four minutes? We're pretty much where we want to be, I think. We're already here. Yep, there she is. So we're gonna fight, fight some stuff while we're waiting to go inside. We're waiting for our vanish. Probably kill all this stuff. A 
slowly clear out this room. I can pull this without pulling the dog. I'll sneak by all these guys. Clear out this side. Got a minute on our vanish. I wonder if I can pull these warlocks without pulling anybody else. Is there anything down here? Yeah, pretty f go pretty far down. So pulling anything. That's pretty far down. All right, so that's good. We got this escape route. All right, so we'll have uh, get a food buff going. Banishes back, and we will pull these warlocks over here. It's gonna be my plan. Let's take a shot at this warlock. Little LOS. See if they come. Okay, good. Perfect. Only one. Really good. Should be pretty easy then. If we can just do this. Got some chicken. All right, let's take a shot at this guy. One of the less. Over. Now the less means line of sight. Pretty much just getting out of the view of this Jaden our Dark Weaver, and he runs over to me. Okay. Let's take a shot at this guy. He'll start casting. Looks like she's coming. Which I don't know how many else are coming. It's just her and him. All right, I think we can wreck. We can wreck her in here. And he'll try to cast. We just keep dragging her back down here. He won't be able to cast. Dead. Kaya has gone down. Take that. I guess we got a stun. Well, that was perfect. Now we just got to get the remains of Trey Lightforge. So we'll finish this guy off. And then we'll have to finish off uh, this warlock. Thing. You could probably sap him and then. Or we could just do it the old fashioned way. We'll just bring him back. 
we can get a shot on him here. He's got an imp on him. Won't be able to cast from that far because the imp. The imp's going to be much faster. Here's the imp. There he is. The imp's down. Kick that. Retribution of the Light. You gather the Paladin's remains as carefully as you can, recalling that at least his spirit has been released from any pain or suffering that might have been forced upon him. Pick up the sack carefully and prepare to make your way back to Jesser Moonbow on the border of Felwood and Ashenvale. Hopefully the Paladin will be given the proper respects once you've passed his remains on to his friends. We're going to get a one-handed blade. It does 34 damage. It's a pretty nice sword. Maybe we'll be going swords. I think I remember to pick that up. I guess we'll take a picture here. Of, uh... Of this place. Maybe I can take a picture of a screen. Something like this. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here before <laughs> they start spawning. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll go swords, guys. That's a 34 damage sword. We also have another sword that does more damage than this offhand mace. Thing is, if we switch the swords, we'll, we'll be doing more damage overall. Sword spec's not bad. You do more damage, but you lose the stun proc from mace spec. And we'll have to level up our, our swords, which will be take a bit of time but here it is sword specialization gives you a 1% chance to get an extra attack on the same target after dealing damage with your sword it's kind of like a, a wind fury proc but we're may spec right now you get more skill and you also get a chance to get a three second stun don't it really depends what we want to do, you know? Do we want more damage? Or do we just stick with the, you know, the higher attack skill and chance at a 3% stun or for a 3 second stun? Both pretty good. I think uh, for hardcore, Mace is probably better. Because the stun can, like, save your life. More damage is good, though, if you're just trying to level up as fast as you can. I think our damage is pretty good. Yeah, there we go. We got Trey's remains. I don't know where we got to deliver that to. Jesser Moonbow and Felwood. All right. And we're going to get this Tide Crest Blade. 115 top end damage. It's a lot. The thing is, this has 30 attack power when fighting beasts. That's. Okay, well, that's pretty bad then. Those, these stats are actually better. It just Even though the spirit only helps outside of combat, it shrinks pretty good. But when fighting beasts, this mace is really damn good. Yeah, I have a feeling uh, swords are clearly mu like they're, they're a lot better. So maybe we'll... Uh, Think about heading back to Darnassus and uh, equipping those swords and maybe changing, changing the sword spec 
terrible if we died with sword spec, but I think the the damage and the extra stats that we're getting from it, we won't be really fighting beasts at all. There are some beasts that we could fight in the Eastern Plague Lands and the Western Plague Lands, like the, these corrupted ones. But, um... Yeah, there's not going to be too many beasts. So mostly undead and uh, demons. A couple beasts, though, in... Uh, in Winter Spring. I think the Alkins are considered beasts. Golden Sand Sand back there. Probably fight this guy. We didn't have to use a health bot, so that was good. Did an escort quest and uh, fought Rakaia. We didn't have to use a health bot. Okay, where the heck is this Golden Sand Sam? There it is. There we go, another three stack. Should get us another three pots, which will leave us at ten pots. So I'll craft those. The thing I could do to level up swords is we could, um, just come over here. Take our swords, go down here and level up our uh, our rep with uh, the timber maw fur bulgs while we level up our swords at the same time. So I don't know if we're going to be running into a quest in the future where we're we will be getting. Uh, an upgraded mace. But I've enjoyed the maces. Maces have been good. I wonder how many levels we'll need to get. Yeah, we'll need a solid 30 levels. Well, 20, 23. Maces we get a five extra skill because of the mace specialization talent. The cool thing is we can always swap back. Probably wouldn't take us that long to uh if we get maces we can always yeah switch. I probably won't sell these maces, I'll just put them in the bank. And I think we could he head over and check out the, the rogue trainer. He'd probably have an ability for us. Alright, so we got all these quests to turn in. So let's turn these in. How may I help? How did things go in Jadenar? You've done it. Praise be to Elune and whichever powers you worship, 007. You have done an honorable and noble thing to this to this day, or this day. I am certain Arco Naren will be pleased that you not only took the time to save her, but to also slay the creature who tortured one of her best friends. I wish I could do more for you, but please take this. Well, there we go, Tidecrest Blade is ours. That's pretty nice. Del Nadris. The winds. Verifying the corruption. Good that you're alive, 007. Bad that the water still exists. I was hoping to find at least one pure source of water here in Felwood. Looks like my search has failed. The process of healing the land could have been made much easier with its existence. I will have to concern myself with saving the forest creatures I can while destroying those that have become so corrupt that they endanger themselves as much as travelers through this once mighty forest. Ancestors watch over. There we go. Getting a lot of XP for these quests. Goddess, bless you. Thank you for all that you have done, 007. May Alun protect you and guide you on the path ahead. May the stars guide you. We got these breeze cloud bracers, cloths. 
Probably sell those. Is there any more quests? We have to turn in before we leave. Ancient Spring, we have to turn in at Forest Song. Cleansing Fellwood. Erethandris. Silver Sky. Don't know where the heck that guy is. Is that person here? Supposedly they're in Fellwood. And I see a little dot here, which makes me think we can turn it in. Maybe he's in the back. I'm not too sure where this guy is. I don't even know who he is. Bring me their sap, Blood Amber it is called. Alright, so we'll probably just, I'll have to figure out. I think he might be on the road or something like that. But we'll find him later, and we'll turn the quest in. I think we freed up a little bit of space. I'm gonna hearth out here. And next episode, what we'll do is we'll fly to Darnassus. We will switch our spec to sword spec. And then we'll probably come back to Fellwood. We'll tur turn in these two quests eventually. And then uh, we'll level up our swords for a solid 25 levels. That's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.